And you mentioned that you've been with your wife 14 years. During that time, did you experience any inner resistance within the relationship? Did you want to push her away? Was How did you manage your trauma within that relationship? How did I manage my trauma? Badly at first. Um, I have asked her many times. I mean, the people in the office knew the rumors. They knew that I was doing drugs and they knew that kind of stuff. Mm. And I kept the job because of the reputation that I had and because I just was me. So I did it. And I had been brought from another country. I was in Canada. I'd been brought from the U.S. They did a year and a half search and I was the big hired gun. So I got to pretty much do what I wanted. And she knew that and she went anyway. And I'd ask her many times, what on earth convinced you to do that? She said, I don't know. I just knew it was what I needed to do. So that answer is the thing. I had no roadmap. Yes, I still didn't know how to treat a person. I didn't know what love was. I didn't know. I didn't believe in anything except conditional relationships. Like it's only, you're only okay if. You only get tokens of affection if. You only get okay, pats on the head, back, butt, whatever, if. I didn't know anything but that. And her determination, <clears throat> her determination to just do this because she said she was going to was infinite. And so that her resilience, <clears throat> like I, it, it was not easy. It was not simple. It was not complicated. She supported me. Go here. Let's try this. Go here. Try that. You know, you want to try antidepressants? Fine. Try this. Try that. Go talk to this guy. That guy sucks. Okay, fine. Go talk to that guy like whatever. And, you know, sometimes it was prob there were problems between us because I didn't know how to understand regular relationships. One of the manifestations of my depression was that I felt like every single thing that got said was a personal attack on me. Anything that was wrong, I used to describe it as sanding my eyeballs. I felt like sandpaper in my eyeballs. Just everything felt like that. Mm -hmm. And we had a thousand conversations about something she would say I would see, hear it as an attack. <clears throat> and rather than get mad, she would just say, well, I didn't, that isn't what I meant. And then I would say something like, how could you mean anything else? I remember one, excuse me, one particular conversation. She said, look, that isn't what I meant. And then I said, well, any sane person, any third party that heard you say those words would know what you meant. And what I, what I meant by that was that it was an attack on me. <clears throat> and she said, well, it wasn't. Later that day, I asked myself a single question. I was by myself and I thought, okay, I don't have any reason to not believe her. So if I look at the words she said, I asked myself the question, what else could that mean? And instead of just defaulting, like I always did to what's an attack on me or whatever, I don't even remember what the situation was defaulting to that negativity i just ask well what else no what else could it mean but what else could that mean well and it, well it could mean this and when i started to do that i began to realize that the words themselves don't mean anything it is the context that we assign and i had a vision of a, a remembrance of a vision that I had. I used to have season passes to a certain ski resort. And there were two lifts that went up on two different mountains, but they overlooked the same valley in the middle. And so from one lift, the valley looked one way. And from another lift, same valley looked a different way. And all of a sudden, I remembered that picture. And I thought it looks different from a different mountaintop. And then asking that question, what else could it mean? All of a sudden, the whole framework just started to crumble of my interpretations right it all crumbled in a good way and from then i'm like wow there is another mountaintop so that became sort of the seminal phrase for me there is another mountaintop another view another way to think about this there is mm -hmm. the fact that i have never found it before i found one now so there is another mountaintop that was a really important moment so that's so i managed it poorly she did better over the last years, it's been really good now, but the first six or seven were pretty tough. It reminds me of what you're saying 
something that I mean, I've been with my partner 21 years now, and we, oh, the first seven years or so, well, I don't know how he put up with me. I really don't. I was a nightmare. I did everything I did to try and get rid of him. <laughs> he stayed. <laughs> <laughs> he stayed. It reminds me in terms of what you were saying about the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. Mm -hmm. And trauma is so closely aligned to a fixed mindset, right or wrong, left or right, black or white. There's no color in the middle. And it feels like what you discovered was, was the color in the middle. There are lots of different ways that you can see things. And that is such a magical moment of... I've got goosebumps just talking about it. It's when you can come into the middle and see the variety of color and the opportunities rather than coming from that fear and insecure, you know, that horrible place of a traumatized mind, I call it. Everything starts to just melt, fall away. It's an incredible space to be in. Well, that's the way it felt to me was the whole, the whole framework of how I interpreted life and all of the attack, the whole framework of I'm nothing, I can't, everything's my fault. All of that just sort of, it felt like it all crumbled mm -hmm. at that moment. So it's just like what you said, it all melted, crumbled, whatever, disappeared. And I, I felt, found myself almost gasping for breath with the internal realization. I thought, holy crap, what else have I misunderstood? Mm -hmm. My first thought, you know, what else? Like, where else is this true? You know, <clears throat> you start to question everything. I questioned everything from that point. I sort of got in my head that everything I'd learned up until that point was a lie. It was, it just wasn't, it wasn't true. Whatever. I, I just questioned everything, everything. I still question everything. 